In this video, you will learn how to install the modules on the NCS 1020 chassis. Preliminary precautions. Take the necessary cautions to prevent electrostatic discharge damage. Equipment required for the installation. Solid state drive, SSD. Controller and controller filler, type one, line card, active and passive filler for type one card. Type two, line card, Type 2 Filler Card NCS 1010 Shelf Fan Assembly NCS 1020 Fans Phillips Screwdriver Customer Supplied Install the controller. The chassis can accommodate up to two controllers. Before installing, refer the supported controller slots for controller and controller filler. To do this task, before inserting, use the This Side Up label to orient the controller. Support the bottom of the controller with hands and insert the controller into the slot. Using a screwdriver, tighten the two captive screws to a torque value of 0.65 newton meter or 5.75 pounds inch. Install the controller filler. The chassis can accommodate only one controller filler. Before installing, Refer the supported controller slots for controller and controller filler. To do this task, before inserting, use the PID number to orient the controller filler. Support the bottom of the controller filler with hands and insert the controller filler into the slot. Using a screwdriver, tighten the two captive screws to a torque value of 0.65 newton meter or 5.75 pounds inch. Install the solid state drive, SSD, hereafter referred as SSD in this procedure. To do this task, open the ejector handle. Before inserting the SSD into the slot, use the up label to help yourself orient the module correctly. To insert the SSD, use one hand to support the bottom of the SSD. With the other hand, gently push the SSD into the chassis. Holding the SSD handle, Rotate the ejector handle inwards till the captive screw latches the ejector handle into the SSD. Using the screwdriver, tighten the lone captive screw to a torque value of 0.65 newton meter or 5.75 pounds inch. Install the type one line card or filler card. Here, the type one line card refers to the NCS 1010 line cards. Before inserting the type one line card, Follow the supported card slots for type 1 line card and filler. To do this task, orient the line card. To prevent any accidental drop, support the bottom of the line card with your hand. Do not use the handles to carry the line card. Use the handles only to push and pull the line card into and out of the chassis. Align the grooves on both sides of the line card with the slide guides available inside the chassis. With your other hand, push the line card into the chassis. Using a screwdriver, tighten the captive screws available on the left and right side of the line card with a torque value of 0.65 newton meter or 5.75 pounds inch. Repeat the steps for installing the active and passive filler for type one line card. Install the passive filler only if a controller filler is installed in controller slot one. Install the active filler only if a controller is in controller slot one. Install the front fan trays. Here, the front fan tray refers to NCS 1010 shelf fan assembly. To do this task, before inserting the front fan tray, use the guide pins and this side up label to orient the fan tray. Supporting the bottom of the fan tray, insert the fan tray into the slot on the front side of the chassis. Using the screwdriver, tighten the captive screws at the corners of the fan tray to a torque value 0.65 newton meter or 5.75 pounds inch. The left captive screw goes into the chassis and the right captive screw goes into the line card. Repeat the steps to insert and fix the second fan tray. Follow the same steps to install the front fan trays on the active filler. Install the Type 2 line or filler card. Here, the Type 2 line card refers to the NCS 1014 line card. This procedure also applies to the Type 2 filler card installation. 
Before proceeding with this task, attach the fiber management bracket to the line card or filler card. Before inserting the line card into the slot, use the This Side Up label to help yourself orient the line card correctly. To insert the line card, use one hand to support the bottom of the line card. Use the other hand to hold the fiber management bracket. With both hands, guide the line card into the slot. Use the fiber management brackets only for pulling out or pushing in the line cards or filler cards. Do not use them to carry the cards. Slide the line card completely inside into the slide guide till it engages in the chassis. Using the screwdriver, tighten the two captive screws of the line card to a torque value of 0.65 newton meter or 5.75 pounds inch to secure the line card. Repeat the steps for the type two filler card installation Install the power supply units, PSU, hereafter referred as PSU in this procedure. To do this task, before inserting the PSU, use the This Side Up label to orient the PSU correctly. With one hand, support the PSU at the bottom. With your other hand, hold the PSU handle and push it in until you hear a click sound. The click sound indicates that the unit has latched. Install rear fan or filler fan tray. This procedure also applies to the filler fan tray installation. Here, the rear fan tray refers to the NCS 1020 fan for NCS 1014 slots, and filler fan tray refers to NCS 1020 fan blank. Before installing the rear fan or filler fan trays, remember to follow the rear fan tray groupings. Refer the following table for group assignments. Install rear fan trays for type two line cards and install filler fan trays for type two filler cards. To do this task, use the up label to help yourself orient the fan tray correctly. Use one hand to support the fan tray at the bottom, then use the other hand to hold the cross handle and insert the rear fan tray into the slot. Using the torque limiting screwdriver, tighten the captive screws at the sides of the fan tray to a torque value of 0.65 newton meter or 5.75 pounds inch. Repeat the steps to insert and fix the required number of fan trays. For more information, refer to Hardware Installation Guide for Cisco NCS 1020.